Hey, tell me what you think in the comment sections of how this uh, mulch will work with the T25. I may be wrong. Give me your opinion. R realize that some of your subcompact 25 horsepowers don't have the lift capacity of the T25. This is 1,500 pounds, and that, that plays into it. Like the, like the BX series, I think it's got eight or 900 pounds of lift. I just don't think it have enough. Okay, I had to set my, how quick my three-point hits dropped. That is a lot of weight. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna answer some questions. We've got a lot of questions about the Bombalite MP348 uh, mulcher working with the T25 tractor. I've had a lot of people ask if it, will, if it will handle it. Now, on paper, it will. The T25 will lift about 1,500 pounds at the three-point hitch. The Bombalite is about 1,000 pounds. I will tell you this, when I lift this dude up, I feel it, it's back there. Um, on paper, it says that minimum horsepower, engine horsepower is 25 horsepower, and the T25 is right there at that 25 horsepower mark. I feel pretty comfortable it's going to work. However, I think it's gonna be at the very high end limit of the capabilities of this tractor. But I've had so many people ask about it, we're gonna see. Maybe we'll be super impressed, who knows? Let's see. All right, today what we're gonna do is work out here. This is part of the timber that was cut years ago. And you can see that there's a bunch of stuff just laid down. A lot of this is old rotted logs. I think, I know on the big tractor, this, this Bombalite would handle it. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough PTO horsepower to dig through some of this stuff. We may have to like inch along. But again, we may be very much surprised. So we're gonna work out here, cleaning this all up. And we're gonna bring everything out and put a big burn pile up here at the front of the property. Uh, and we'll burn all that off later. I want to go work. Let's find out if it actually does anything. So this may be a very short video based on this tractor may not handle this. And also, we've got a horrendous storm coming tonight. It's like in the next uh, six or eight hours, it's supposed to get really nasty. So hope uh, like one year ago, one year ago, just about within a week of this time frame, we had a, a, a run of tornadoes come through our area and just create havoc. So yeah, we hope that doesn't happen this year, but it's like 60, I'm actually kind of sweating in the sweatshirt. So it's really sticky for, for late November, early December. So I'm gonna lift this up in the back and you can see how much the back of the tractor squats down. I am running low air pressure because I, I like the traction. So that's gonna be a little bit of the reason it squats so much, but still, it's pretty noticeable. It's back there. I, I bet you I can pop a wheelie. We gotta find out. Don't try this at home, it takes a trained idiot. No, it's pretty stable. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, it might, I doubt it. I bet the front end lifts up real easy. Oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that, this will probably give me the heaviest lifting capacity I can carry with this tractor, with this, uh, mulcher on the back. Wow. Definitely feel the load.
So I'm impressed uh, overall. Uh, I got maybe 18, 19 PTO horsepower. I really didn't expect it to do that well behind this uh, tractor. I will say this though, I would probably still not recommend this on this tractor if this is the only tractor you have, unless, this is my qualification, you're gonna be doing pretty flat ground like we are. Because over here, I got a little bit of an angle and the tractor, uh, I could have easily gotten stuck and had to go get something to pull myself out. So that, the 474 is definitely better suited for this. But if you only have the T25 and you're gonna be doing a lot of flat ground, I think you just gotta take your time and be patient with it. I did go ahead and tilt the, uh, the, the mulcher all the way forward uh, so that it doesn't throw stuff onto the tractor as bad because there's an add-on kit that you can put on it with add some chains and I think I might end up getting that. I'm not sure because uh, I felt it throw some stuff up onto the tractor. Now I do have the backhoe mount under the tractor uh, so it's a big steel piece at the back of the tractor so that does help from uh, you know it's got something solid back there but let's go ahead and take a look over here. So this area right here is just a whole bunch of really rotted red oak. Uh, it's pretty soft. I mean, I can kick pieces off of it. I th I'm going to go ahead and try to clean this up and just mulch this and see what will happen. Uh, I'm pretty sure, like I said, if we had the 474, we, it would be no problem whatsoever to, uh, to, to get this all up. Uh, but you can tell when we turn this thing on, the, the power that it takes to get this spinning is a lot. However, I will say that little Yanmar engine has really got the low end torque and just keeps it going. Uh, it's not died yet. That's that's pretty impressive. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with this old rotten stuff on the ground. And if you know, if you had to come out here and pick all this up by hand, it'd be a pain. So uh, maybe this will, I'm already impressed. That's all I can say. back into this really easy. Well, it did stop it. So that is a uh, that is still a pretty solid stump. That's not really what this thing's meant for with any tractor. So I'm gonna go around and grab that with the uh, grapple and, and pull it, put it out in the burn pit. But the rest of the smaller stuff, it just seems to be going right through it. I'm, I'm impressed. I, like I said, I don't know that I would buy this for this small of a tractor unless you have a lot of flat ground to do. Gonna give this soft stuff a try.
almost too many things. That's like three stumps and a, or two stumps and a, and a tree. So this, this uh, little trip here is going to be cut short due to some thunder booming. See a dog up there, do you see a dog? Alright, so this was all, you've seen what this looked like before we started. As far as again, the PTO horsepower, I was surprised that 18, 19 PTO horsepower did really well. Uh, I've only, I only stopped it once or twice and that's when I backed up onto a large stump and that would do it with any tractor. Um, yeah, overall I'm impressed with the PTO horsepower. We have this mulcher now, and in our land, it's not terribly hilly. So I can see myself using this in specific situations, say like the, the T474s in the shop having a service done, and that's all I have to work with. Absolutely, I, I would do it. Um, I just don't know that I would buy that MP348 uh, if the only tractor I had was the T25. Again, just keep that in mind. But overall, I'll let you make your own judgment. Tell me what you think about how this thing done. Hey, I appreciate you watching the channel. God bless, have a great day.